welcome back. Today, I actually have the smart door lock, and this thing is actually pretty nice. Um, I have yet to install it. Now, what do you get in the box? Now, of course, you get the really fancy door lock. It's actually pretty nice with the buttons and the numbers and everything. It looks very cool. It looks like the RF tag reader is going to be towards the top. Uh, of course, you do get the exterior panel, the IC cars, user manual, screws, a deadbolt, interior assembly mount plate, interior panel, drill template, keys, screws, and a strike part. Now, of course, I did bring my fancy uh, homemade door here. So we're going to be able to set this up. Very excited to see how this is going to work. Um, and I, I got to say, so far, just playing with it, pulling all the equipment out, everything felt premium. Just very, very, very premium. Now, of course, if you're interested, check the description below. I will leave links to all this stuff. That way you guys can get um, hooked up with the latest and greatest stuff. I will say you do need four of these AA batteries. So I got my four right here ready to go. Also, some other preset stuff is you do need a drill. Um, and you will need a cross bit, so keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and go to the door here and start putting this guy together. So the very first thing is I'm going to grab this thing right here. That is going to be your latch. So very simple. Just put it on right here just like that. And then you do have the strike plate, and this will go on the door on the other side. So I don't have a door, but you guys know how that works. Now you will be using these little tiny screws. So there's, there's two screws, there's two types of screws that you'll get. You'll get some long ones, just like that, and then you'll get the short ones. So use the shorties, you'll need two of them. Okay, so installing the exterior panel, here it is right here. Um, if you slide this thing up, that's where you're gonna put the key. This is where you put that little tag, and then if you have numbers here for guests, that's good right there. Uh, make sure this comes through here, so that way you guys can install it properly. So just keep all that in mind. So first things first is the cable. You're going to want to slide it down here. This cross, you're going to want to go right through here. And then the two screws are going to go right through there. So very, very simple to do this. And there it is right there. Once you have it in, you're pretty much set. Now, before we install the interior panel, um, you need to install this plate right here. So you do have these two screws. The two screws are going to come right there, just like this. And these two holes right here, that's where they're gonna come in. So the cable is gonna come right down through here and the, the, the stick right here, this is gonna be your lock, that's gonna come right through this hole. So exactly like this. So there you go. Once you have this plate now installed, the next thing is gonna be this guy right here. So very, very simple. This thing's gonna be plugged in right here. That stick right here is gonna come right here to your lock. And then we're going to reveal and pop this open where you do have two screws. And those two screws, actually, they're right up here. They're going to lock into these holes right up there. So let's go ahead and do this now. Now, the great thing is once you do put it in, these holes inside will line up. It only goes one way. And then those two screws will be exposed. So now all you have to do is just put it in, tighten it up. And now the last thing is you're going to need those four batteries right there. Batteries are not included. At least I didn't see the batteries included in the box. So make sure you do carry four of these AA. You will hear a little beep sound. And as you can see, the light's on. So let's go ahead and cover this guy up now. And you should be good. Like if I just turn this over, it's great. Um, you could hear the, the beeping sound right here, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this thing will work just yet, but... It said operation failed, so these things need to get synced up. So pretty easy and quick. Actually, that you know what? That took me literally. I had I had almost no editing done with this video, and you pretty much saw exactly. Let's just call it maybe 10 minutes to install it, if that. And the instructions on the book, I got to say, extremely easy and helpful. I do like it when you open it. It does make a beeping sound, and then when you close it, it, it gives another beeping sound, which is pretty nice. So the next part, this is the process now how to install the app and sync everything up so that way you could have this thing working flawlessly. So we're gonna come here to my phone and this works on Apple and iOS. So just search Geek Smart, exactly how you see it. Hit install, give it a few seconds, it doesn't take that long. Once it's done, go ahead and hit open. And if you already have an account, just log in. If you don't, register and then just follow the on-screen instructions. 
Now, once you're done, this is extremely easy. You get a little coupon here that says free product test now, 50% off on some of the stuff. This is, as you can see the price right there, I'm getting you guys some coupons. Go ahead and hit add device. So it needs to turn on the location. So just hit yes and allow while using the app. And this is a smart lock. So second option, you got electronic scales, lock gateways, robot vacuums, so many options here. We're gonna do the smart lock right there. Now, if you remember, this was the LF401. So go ahead and click on that guy. And it says, press wake up the door. Uh, press any key to wake up the door lock. So it says Bluetooth administrator. I'm going to hit next. Now it's scanning the door. And it looks like there is something that did pop up. So I'm going to click on this guy. And the door just said adding administrator successful. So everything is syncing from the door to the app. Now from here, again, follow whatever you have set up for your door if it's going to be a right hinge or a left hinge i'm just going to hit confirm for now so let's start it says click to unlock long press to lock so right now it's unlocked so let's so i'm just going to hold it and see what happens and there it goes it's so that, that might have been like maybe like two three seconds um i kind of wish it was just like a hold or push to lock and push to unlock and it just says lock or unlock um but that's okay just hold it and you should be good to go as you can see it did open now if i do push it once give it a few seconds and this should unlock it and there it goes that's awesome so pretty cool so i, I like how it shows the unlock red button i just wish it stayed like that and then i click it and then it would say locked and it would show me the green thing saying it's locked um, so not bad. If you do click on user management, you could actually add different users, different profiles here. So that's good. Password management. Again, same thing. If you have guests and stuff like that, you can create a guest. So on the top here, you see the three buttons on the far right side. Click on this. Add password, upload passwords. Very, very simple. Same thing for user management. If you click that plus sign up there on the far right, put in all the information. You could actually put in when to start it and when to kick them off. So if you're like, hey, I got a neighbor that's gonna be coming in, checking on uh, my puppy or whatever, um, I could say, okay, cool, on the first, this is gonna work, and I get back on the six, I want to be sure it doesn't work anymore on the six. So good stuff. Now, unlock record. This is kind of cool, because I wanna know like how many times somebody does come in and out of the house if I do have somebody coming in. So for me, it says Rojas Entertainment, that's my Gmail. Um, at Bluetooth locked, unlocked, and it shows me the entire history, which is pretty nice. Now, down here at the bottom, I see cards. You click on that, no data. On the top right, there are those three buttons. You could add IC card, clear IC card, or upload IC card. So that's going to be these guys right here where you scan it, you click it, and that's it. So I'm going to leave it there. Now, if you do come up to the very top right, there is your little gear icon. Go ahead and select this guy. And it has the device name, the model. You could do administrator password. You could check the battery life. That's kind of cool. And it says 100%. So that's awesome. Lock sound if I want to turn it off or on or whatever. So pretty cool. Now, if you do back up again, um, you do have automatic locking. Now, I know um, at my sister's house, she's got something set up like this. So current time right now, you could set it up after maybe five seconds. Let's just say you close the door, you forgot to lock it, you start walking away. This thing will lock itself after five seconds, 10 seconds, after a minute, um, or you could leave it disabled. So pretty nice how you can do that. Um, sometimes that's good. And if you have your phone or that little key thing, then you could just use that to get back in. And then of course, down here at the bottom, if you want to delete it, you could do that. And then you could just delete it and it'll wipe everything out. So that way it's ready to go for whoever you want to give it to, um, whoever you want to gift it to. And that should be it. Now, the very last piece, I'm not going to go through it just today. I'm not going to go through it at all, actually, because um, it's really, really simple to do. Um, if you want to hook it up to your Google assist or your alessa devices you just open up your alessa you open up uh, whatever it is that you have and you go to scan devices you're gonna have to go to uh learn uh an app or download an app i forget what it's called when you when you have to go there but you have to go there look for geek smart download it log in it's gonna get your account and then all you have to do is just scan your surroundings like okay cool what is it that i have it's going to pick up the lock automatically and then based on your login it's going to sync it and then you can call it front door back door whatever it is and you could say alessa open up the front door it might ask for a pin number um 
So make sure you set that up for security. You don't want somebody yelling outside, open the front door, and it's going to ask you for a pin no, no matter what anyway. So um, keep that in mind. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I wanted to give you guys some cool stuff. I love smart home stuff, and this is awesome. I, I, I absolutely love it. Geek Smart's doing some crazy stuff. Can't wait to get my hands on some more of their products that they have. It looks like they have a lot, a lot of smart stuff that we could um, check out. So yeah, you guys take care. Take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Thank you.